Welcome to Soltron. This is my video review of my custom Tobot Leo Kaiser or Leon Rover is his Western name. Here's a size comparison. And here's with that custom Cerberus six shot that I made a while ago. So all the add-ons on this guy are mostly from a Lego Chima set, like the claws and the feet, this chest armor. Uh, the main parts for the head and then nothing interesting going on in the back that's just kind of how the figure normally looks so I added a lot of articulation to him so his his claws here can rotate and then because of the Lego set these these claws can also open and close so they can close into fists And then he now has an articulated head, so this can rotate pretty much in all directions and look. And has a good range of motion. It's got two ball joints, so he can pretty much pull off looking in any direction. And then he's got, this is his standard articulation, is his shoulder. And then he's got some outward clicks here, a lot of outward clicks. And then I added this ball joint elbow, so he has bicep swivel, because the original figure never had that. And then the other thing I added was there's ball joints on the feet, so he can be nice and stable. And then just your regular less than 90 degree on the knee. And then full fo forward and backward kick. And outward spread as well. So I really like this cool wear lion kind of look. And if we look, if we do a zoom in on his head here. I gave him a couple of extra fangs in the middle of his mouth because those were just empty. It was like an empty hole earlier. So I think that really improves the way he looks. And I really like how these main pieces look. It just really fills out his head a lot. So to transform him just into the regular robot mode, so we take off all the add-on pieces. This is just going to come right off here. And then to get him ready for vehicle mode, you're actually going to pull out this main piece which is just attached by a peg and then these side bits also come off and they're also attached by a lego peg this one is pretty tight but there's the little three millimeter peg that i use for this and then you have just ba his basic like toe key mode which is just a bodiless lion and then you can see the inner workings of his weird neck so it's got like this and then this will just collapse down into his body to give him a normal looking neck and then these paw pieces he just holds them with these five millimeter pegs they just go right into his fist and that's how he uses these paws or these claws so those just come right out of his hand and you just straighten up his fist and then this armor is also just pegged on with a three millimeter post. And then the lion feet just slide on to these Lego axles. And then he's just gonna transform as normally. You get his feet out, and then you can get his claws out for his extension mode. So here he is in his extension robot mode. So none of these None of these mods interfere with his playability, so he can still do everything, he's fully functional. And now he's got elbow joints, so you can get some better looking poses out of him. And then he's got his ball joint neck, so he can turn his head and look freely, which I think adds a lot to this figure. So you can get some really cool looking action poses out of this guy now, because he's able to look up and turn his head and then use these bicep swivels. Okay, so you can get some much more convincing Wolverine-like poses out of him now. So that's pretty cool. And then in his regular robot mode, he can almost cross his arms at this point thanks to the little bit of new articulation. He's got huge 
car forearms. But actually, looking at this guy, he looks a lot like Transformers Prime Knockout, so I really like the look of this guy. He looks pretty awesome, even in his plain robot mode. He's still a pretty striking looking figure. Okay, so I'm going to go over... I'm going to transform him into car mode, and then I'm going to go over what we do with all these leftover bits now. Okay, so here he is in car mode, and now all these extra little bits actually do store in the vehicle mode. I just have to remember how. So the claws and the feet, they combine together. So this little red axle is actually going to go into the ball joint here. And just sandwich those two together. And then this three millimeter post is going to stick out and that's actually going to connect to the car mode into these little holes in the back. So that just is gonna peg on to the back like that. Okay, so now those are attached into the back. And then we're going to just put the lion head. The toe key just goes back here as normal. And then in the back of the robot head, there's this new hole. So that's where the chest armor is going to go. It's just going to slot right in there. Okay, there it is pegged in. And that just leaves the main pieces. So this is going to peg back in to the top of the toe key head. And then these two side mains are just going to peg into these little holes right here and kind of look like fins in the back of the car. So one right there and the other one right here. And then you kind of just close up all these claws so they're not sticking out so much. And then basically that's how everything stores away in vehicle mode. So it's all pretty much cleaned up. It's all just thrown in the back of the vehicle. Might have looked better if it was distributed more on different parts of the car, but I think that pretty much takes care of storage. And it's all there. So hope you enjoyed this review, and I'll see you next time.